Let's move on now to email number two. And email number two comes to us from Dmitry Mikhailov, who writes, Did I miss something? Godzilla 2 is still six months away, but I read that Godzilla vs. Kong just started shooting. Aren't they getting a little ahead of themselves? What happens if Godzilla is a flop? All right, thanks a lot for the email, Dimitri. And no, you didn't miss anything, and you didn't misread that. Even though Godzilla 2 is still a ways off and not even like not going to be in theaters for quite a while, they have started principal photography on Godzilla vs. Kong. They have started the movie. The reports are out. You can see it online now. Godzilla vs. Kong is now officially shooting. Now, I actually saw some tweets yesterday complaining about this news because there are some people claiming that this news that came out that they've started shooting Godzilla vs. Kong is a blatant spoiler for Godzilla 2. It's a blatant spoiler for Godzilla 2 because they're saying, now we know Godzilla doesn't die in Godzilla 2. And I just, all you can do is smack your head a little bit, right? Did you really think Godzilla was going to die in Godzilla, Godzilla 2? And we knew Godzilla versus Kong was coming. But at any rate, yes, they have started shooting it, giving it that whole tangibilization. There's that word I made up about the whole Kong versus Godzilla movie. It is coming, and I'm really excited to see it. We talked about the cast the other day. They've lined up a really impressive cast. They're going balls to the wall in this movie, and I think it's going to end up being a lot of fun, just like I think Godzilla 2 is going to end up being a lot of fun. Will it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see till we actually get there. So, But it's not just the news that they've started shooting this movie that's come out. The news has actually come out that they've actually got a synopsis for this movie right now. There's a synopsis. They put out an official story synopsis for Godzilla vs. Kong, and here's what it is. In a time when monsters walk the earth, humanity's fight for its future sets Godzilla and Kong on a collision course that will see the two most powerful forces of nature on the planet collide in a spectacular battle for the ages. As Monarch, that's the human organization in these movies, as Monarch embarks on a perilous mission into uncharted terrain and unearths clues to the titans or origins, a human conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures, both good and bad, from the face of the earth forever. So, what it seems like when we read this synopsis is like we're getting a little bit of a Batman versus Superman thing. These two colossal titan heroes... They're going to do battle, but ultimately at the end, they're going to have their version of Doomsday and they're going to have to come together and fight together to save the future for the human race. I mean, that's that's, that's clearly what's coming on here, right? We are clearly getting a scenario here where we're going to have these monsters. They're fighting because of some misunderstanding. Godzilla is going to find out that Kong's mother's name is also Martha. Then some other giant monster is going to show up that threatens the whole world. We'll call it Doomsday 2, and Kong and Godzilla are going to look at each other, give each other the bro high five, and then they're going to go and fight the big monster together, right? I mean, that that's what's going to happen. And you know what? It's really formulaic, and I don't care. I like it. <laughs> this, yes, as I'm saying it, it sounds ridiculous. As I'm saying it, absolutely sounds incredibly formulaic. No doubt, I'm not going to deny that even for a single second. But you know what? I'm eating that formula up. I'm eating it up. I want to see Godzilla and Kong have that moment after they're bloodied and bruised from fighting each other. Look at the new threat. Look at each other and go, bro, we got this. Give each other the monster fist bump, run off, and take out the new monster. Maybe it'll be Doomsday as well. Because I believe this this is a Warner Brothers film, right? So they got the rights to Doomsday. That's right. Doomsday comes back. There you go. I've written your movie for you. Um, so yeah, formulaic? Absolutely a little bit. But I also think it sounds pretty great. Now, Dimitri asks a fair question. Are they getting ahead of themselves by actually putting this movie into production when they're not even sure how Godzilla 2 is going to do? Maybe. I mean, look, we have some cautionary tales just recently. Look at Universal's Monster Universe, right? With Mummy and Invisible Man and the Wolf Man and Bride of Frankenstein and all these movies they were going to do after Tom Cruise's Mummy. And look how that turned out. They kind of embarrassed themselves. The whole thing failed. Yada, yada, yada. So there is a cautionary tale there. But I think I would propose that this scenario with Kong versus Godzilla is a different kind of scenario. Number one, they're not announcing 18 movies. You know, they're not announcing 
Kong versus Godzilla, then Son of Kong, then Son of Godzilla, then Son of Godzilla and Son of Kong battles, you know, second removed cousin of Mothra. Like, they're not announcing this 18-long movie slate like Universal did with their Universal properties, right? So it's different on that level. It's one film. Secondly, I kind of dig it because to me, it's Warner Brothers showing they got confidence in Godzilla too. They're not getting too far ahead of themselves. They're not planning out eight sequels. At least they're not announcing it. But it at least shows to me, hey, we believe, we know we've got a winner on our hand with Godzilla 2. We believe the audiences are going to flock to this movie, and we believe the audiences are going to have a good time, and they're going to tell their friends, and more people are going to come, and so we feel completely confident in moving ahead and getting Godzilla vs. Kong 2 into motion. You know what the other good thing about that is this? By getting this movie into production now, when we do see Godzilla 2, and if we do enjoy it, it means we don't have to wait that long for Godzilla vs. Kong to come out. I mean, don't get me wrong, Godzilla vs. Kong isn't going to come out six months after King Kong or after uh, Godzilla 2, but it shortens the window for how long we have to wait for the next one. And again, that kind of speaks to me to the confidence that Warner Brothers seems to have in this particular property. And to me, that's good news. So overall, I got to tell you, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. I am kind of liking what I'm seeing.